All right, Pisces, what's up? <clears throat> Let's see what's popping for the energy. All right, for this coming week, what's going on with Pisces, Spirit? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest to the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, please. Let's see what's popping for the week ahead. What is it? 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Week ahead for Pisces. What's going on with the energy for Pisces? Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. All right, Pisces, my hair is a fucking shit show. Don't mind it, y'all. Just roll with it, okay? <laughs> All right, Pisces. Deck is in the reverse. So we get the moon card. We get the moon. Pisces energy. We are coming up on a full moon on Tuesday. Tuesday, what is it? Full moon in Sag? What month are we? June? Full moon in Sag. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what's going on Pi for Pisces? Yes! Snake in reverse again. I mean, you know. It sucks it's still coming out, but I, I seen it flip in reverse, too, when it was in the air, and I was like, oh, shit, this, okay, whatever. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I swear, man, that fucking snake. Y'all. Yeah. Your intuition's on point about something here, Pisces, and the owls. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> mountains on the bottom of the deck so let's get three from the kipper deck i don't know if i shuffled these from last read so let me just shuffle these up real quick for pisces for pisces hmm For Pisces, please. Three cards to clarify this reading for Pisces. Ooh. Message of concern. That's what I was getting with the owls. Like you may find out something during this full moon. Okay. <clears throat> Could be around involving an official person. Could be dealing with officials. Oh, shit. Okay. And a child. Community on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Moon number 32. The moon. I like to read these because, well, I've already told you guys, but for whoever's new here. All right, welcome. All right, love and romance, intuition and psychic abilities, imagination and creativity are a few of the ideas I stand for. I reach across the sky and influence the waters. I am admired all around. I bring fame. I bring honors. Mm. <laughs> so yeah you could be doing something in you know involving spirituality using your intuition your psychic abilities are heightened at this time i feel like this this moon because we got moon cycles here are going to be very beneficial okay you may have been manifesting something as well manifesting these motherfucking snakes out of our lives <laughs> all right I should stop okay so we get snake in the reverse again watch out for me because i'm always hiding you can never trust or believe in me i am cheating and deceiving i will betray you in a heartbeat be careful where you are treading my things will surely have you dreading however it is in the reverse so the snake is being blocked okay this may have to do with um i'm getting restraining order <clears throat> This could also be like spiritually blocked, you know, using your intuition. You could be someone who's very psychic, intuitive. You may, you know, receive downloads, messages from, you know, the higher realm. Trust the messages that you receive. I cannot stress that um, enough. All right. And then we get number 12. A phone call or a text or a date is how I communicate. I am in meetings or in interviews <clears throat> and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, your lover, or your mate. Couples is what I indicate. And then number 21 with the mountain. Mountain. I come to bring you 
<clears throat> challenges and obstacles with blockages and resistance. I will make you late for your date and my coldness will take emotions off the plate. Pay attention and beware. I can be your enemy in your lair. All right. So, and then we have message of concern. Sorry, that was in the upright. Um, official person and child. Okay, so somebody here may be receiving a message about a child. This may be something that is concerning. Again, with the owls, messages coming in. Somebody could have been dealing with a snake or dealing with a false person. There could be some type of option or options. Oh, someone may have had options, but there's some type of obstacles here. This could be involving the community. There could be someone in, in despair. This could be about a job, job loss, child support. Um, okay. All right, so let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please clarify this reading? What's going on here in this reading? What does Pisces need to be aware of for the week ahead? This has been coming out a lot for you guys, so I kind of feel like this... I feel like, you know, you guys... All right. Two different storylines. For some of you guys, I feel like um, are dealing with children. There's something here that is causing some type of restrictions. It may not be with you. You may be the one restricting somebody because the snake is in reverse, so it's like you know, getting false enemy or not false enemies, false people or enemies, getting enemies out of your, out of your lair. What the hell? What is a lair? Your hair? <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm so sorry. I got to look that up. That's what I heard. And I don't even know like really what that means. A lair? Like, can you quit? Hey, thank you. Lair. L-A-I-R. Ouch. Really? Why you bite me? A place where a wild animal, especially a fierce or dangerous ones, live. A burial or a plot in a graveyard. Getting enemies out of your lair. Hmm. So out of their hiding spot, okay? Hide away, hide out, hide. I was like, what is the cinnamon? Okay, not the cinnamon, whatever. What is the cinnamon? Oh, cinnamon, I can't say it. Synonym, okay, of lair. What is the cinnamon? Whatever the fuck, okay. <laughs> it's the hideout, hideaway, hidey hole. <laughs> Or a nest. So getting... <laughs> this shit's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's just funny speaking like metaphorically. Okay. So getting getting the enemies out of their hiding spots. Like, so wherever these enemies were lurking, hiding, you're getting them out of your lair. I like it, spirit. Thank you for the new verbs or the new, new analogies, whatever you want to call them. Okay. This is great. All right. <clears throat> Pay attention, okay? Again, with these owls, maybe you receive messages from birds, from nature, spirit animal, okay? Maybe some of you have a pet. I just heard erratic behavior. So if somebody has had erratic behavior, maybe your pets have had erratic behavior, pay attention. Considering mine is like acting a fucking fool right now. Can you quit? Gina. Show me what's going on here, spirit. The high priestess. Wow. And the moon card as your first card out. And for tarot, we have the first card out as the fucking high priestess. Piscean energy. Again, I'm getting somebody here who has, you know, I'm also getting secrecy. Keep things silent. Keep things to yourself. 
Use your intuition. Trust the messages you receive, but also sit on it. Okay? Um, I'm not telling if, you know, hmm, how do I say this? There's a right time for everything. Okay? Pay attention to that. Something about timing. The high priestess, she does stay silent, okay? But she has a lot of a lot of wisdom. Very connected to source, okay? I don't feel like high priestesses are meant to keep their information completely to themselves, but there are some things that you need to keep to yourself, at least for the time being, okay? Let's keep going. Tell me more about this message for Pisces. Pisces. About time we get some bright cards too, right? Yellow. Mm, happiness. The devil. High priestess and the devil. Oh, that's that's like black magic right there. Somebody could be doing like some type of spell work, sorcery, or whatever the fuck. Why Capricorn Pisces energy? Why is the devil here? Seven of Wands, it's being blocked. You're protected, Pisces. Don't even trip. You're protected. You're royal. Royal blood. Purple to me is like royalty, royal. Okay? Seven of Wands speaks about protection. Locking. Locking out the devil. All right? If somebody is trying to do some stupid shit to you, just keep that in mind and, you know, stay, stay, <laughs> stay prayed up. I'm hearing that song, Booed Up by Ella, Ella May or May or whatever. <clears throat> okay. Five of Wands. Yeah, you're protected from this drama, from this conflict. There could be multiple people, considering we have the community on the bottom of the deck over here. All right, there could be multiple people against you, and I don't mean to like fret or frighten anybody, but somebody's in despair because something's not working. Wow, we're getting one of those readings. All right, that's cool. Okay. Six of Wands, yeah, you're going to be victorious over this shit. You will have some type of success and victory. Six of Wands also talks about the community. Somebody may also, if you're on a platform, Instagram, Facebook, or uh, YouTube, or, you know, Twitter, whatever you're on, somebody may be trying to bring drama to your platform, <clears throat> okay? going on with whoever these people are, these snakes. Uh, this could be somebody in the government or somebody who has some type of ranking with this official person below the snake in the reverse. But somebody is seeing, somebody, the community may even be starting to see that this person is a snake, that they're a false person. If this person is somebody of clout, the Emperor Aries energy could be a father, boss, a CEO. Show me what's going on with the whoever this these people are. Fucking with my Pisces, Ten of Swords. Some type of a betrayal. The devil, Ten of Swords. <laughs> Sorry. Again, somebody in some type of position of authority or high ranking is trying to cause an ending, a betrayal here. By sorcery or magic or some shit. I mean, it's no coincidence. It's here, it's here, it's here. It's here three times. Three of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this person's working with others. Somebody may even be paying somebody with that Three of Pentacles, be paying somebody to do this. The Magician. What am I saying? What the fuck am I saying? Yep. Yep. <laughs> 
Okay, I should just stop holding these messages in and get them out. Okay, so Seven of Wands. Sorry, it's just a lot sometimes and I don't know where to start. So Seven of Wands. I have five cards. I'm doing the bottom row. Okay, you're protect. You're blocking out this magician or you're... you're Sorry, enemy, Mr. Snake in reverse, but you're stronger than this motherfucker, okay? Again, it's like this woman or a man, whatever, is going to somebody else. You know, it's like somebody's going to somebody else to, to do. Trying to cause endings in a betrayal. This is somebody in a position of authority, an official person. Or somebody's going towards an official person secretly. This could even be like a side piece or a side, like a mistress or mister or whatever the fuck. Like somebody on the side who's doing this with this high priestess. Trying to cause an ending in a major betrayal. Show me what else this person's doing for Pisces. All they're doing is making you more powerful. All good. All good. The lovers reverse. This is someone who maybe you were in a relationship with, like an ex, a Gemini, maybe Virgo, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces is here. <sighs> lovers reverse. This is someone who you've ended things with or you were in a relationship with. And there's a bunch of drama, conflict, competition. Somebody put you in competition towards Virgo, Capricorn. You will be successful. You will have, you know, you will be okay. You'll be stable, successful, money coming in. This could be someone who you are also committed to, married to, lived with, with the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. All right. What is the, what is this message of concern? Justice in the reverse, that somebody's being fucking unfair secretly. The moon card, Libra, Pisces, Cancer energy. That somebody here is doing something that is unjust, unfair, doing it under the moon, moon magic. What's this message of concern, please? could involve children if you have children with this person princess of swords somebody here is spying secretly spying the moon card aquarius libra gemini maybe libra here somebody is spying this may be somebody who's younger trying to create some type of injustice King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be... Stop. It's the King of Wands. Queen of Coins reversed. So the Queen of Coins reversed is someone who's selfish, stingy, greedy, there could be a fire sign and an earth sign in particular, maybe, possibly. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Super Gemini is here. Pisces, Cancer, Libra, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't even matter, okay? The point is you have a king of coins in the upright out here. You have a king of wands in the upright, and then you have a queen of coins in the reverse. Okay, so this is someone who's selfish, money hungry, doesn't take care of their responsibilities, possibly doesn't work. Someone who's stopped, who's not stable, okay? Whoever this queen of coins in the reverse is, this could be somebody that somebody was married to, but possibly getting a separation with the lover's card reverse, queen of coins. These two, you know, one's in the reverse, one's in the upright. Stop. Hey. Kira. Yeah. Can you get her, please? Or she eats my blinds. Okay. Sorry for all the distractions, y'all. Please grab her. I appreciate it. This is someone who someone's separating from. The lover's card in the reverse. This is... 
somebody here is spying. Thank you, baby. Secretly spying, trying to create some type of injustice. Up your protection during this time because somebody's definitely doing some bullshit. I do see that you are protected from whoever, you know, is trying to manipulate a situation. Cause some type of an ending. This has to do with like a, a child's parent, a father in particular, because we have the emperor out here. And the masculine energy is in the upright. The feminine is in the reverse. Pisces, I don't know who is who. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like, honestly, you could be the third party. You could be... Because the high priestess is in the upright. The moon is in the upright. That's all your energy is in the upright as well. The only energy of yours out here is also in the upright. I feel like this is like an ex of yours. Masculine or feminine, flip the rules. If you're the man watching, this could be like your girl, your ex-girlfriend's new dude or whatever the fuck. Or if this is a woman watching this, this is your ex-boyfriend or husband or whatever. They're whoever they were involved with doing this to you. Because they're upset, they're stingy, they're money hungry, they're they're a fucking clout chaser, they're they're you know, they want they're they're a fucking what do you call it? Mm. Uh gold digger. They're a gold digger, right? Somebody's definitely watching you. There's an injustice going on here for sure, for sure. And it has to do with some type of a relationship that has ended. And there's children involved. Use your intuition. I feel like you're not, the snake is in the reverse. So I don't feel like this person is necessarily in your life, but this person may be wanting to send you a message with these owls here. This may be an obstacle to overcome, or this person may be trying to overcome some ob obstacles. Use your intuition. Somebody here is going to receive a message from an official person. There's some type of injustice being done. Definitely black magic. Okay. The magician, the devil, the high priestess, that's magic. Yeah, because of somebody's fucking jealous and shit. Yeah, ten of coins. About a family dynamic that has possibly ended. Two of wands. Somebody made a choice to, to, to bring that tower down. Could have been this fire sign, this Aries... Leo Sagittarius, King of Swords. Yeah, cutting out. Yeah, di divorce. Okay, thank you. King King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Divorcing somebody. Okay. Somebody was being breadcrumbed in this situation, given to two possibly. Somebody's making a choice and they're optimistic about sending some type of a message. Scorpio energy is here. All right. I don't even like this energy, so... You guys get the point of the story of your protection at this time. We are going into a full moon. Energy is heightened. Okay, so um, stay protected, okay? That's all I gotta say. Let's get a couple from the Moonology deck. Let's see. What additional messages do you have for Pisces? Messages. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course. Okay. Somebody may have also gotten caught spying on somebody. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. <clears throat> The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. <clears throat> we are in Gemini season. We are going into a full moon. This is not the full moon in Gemini. I believe it's full moon in Sag. But anyways, coincidence. Uh, a new start is coming. New moon. Okay, so um, you may have started something on this last new moon or this coming new moon here in a couple weeks about 15 days you, there may be some type of a new start that's coming and expect a powerful change on, on the bottom of the deck so i feel like somebody here is moving away from a situation use your intuition okay but there's some like fuckery and foolery going on by like a third party okay 
trying to create some type of injustice in your life. But again, your intuition has already told you. Trust the messages you receive. Somebody's definitely spying on you, watching you, secretly trying to cause delays and drama for you. Justice in the reverse. This could actually be multiple people or people in the community. Or people are starting to see what's going on here. I feel like there's someone in a position of authority or a father figure or a boss or somebody who um, may have been dealing with a snake or who's letting go of a snake. Official person, snake in reverse. This emperor in the upright may be letting go of a feminine snake, queen of coins in the reverse. It may have only been about the money. Somebody may have even married for money. This is someone who's very passionate, very attractive. They may have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag in their chart. They could have been dealing with a younger air sign with Earth in their chart. Take it as it resonates, okay, guys? It could go in multiple different ways. But that's a story, and I'm going to get out of it. So you know what to do, Pisces. I'm going to get back on and do another reading for y'all for the people who are not dealing with this situation. But if this is something that you have been suspecting or wondering or feeling intuitively like i said the moon card is in the upright two times here in two different decks okay your intuition is right if this is something you've been thinking you already know you already know now if this isn't your story it's just not your story okay let it let it be for the rest of the people who it is for okay um go ahead and hit that like button if you guys haven't subscribed and this reading resonates with you, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.